Welcome back to my channel for this extreme kitchen declutter. Today I am going to be using the KonMari method for this kitchen declutter and organisation. I love using the KonMari method when decluttering because it helps me get everything so much more organised and it makes such a satisfying before and after transformation. So do make sure that you watch until the end of this video to get all of the satisfying before and after shots. Everybody's singing oh, everybody's singing oh. Go ahead and leave this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Don't forget to turn on post notifications if you enjoy decluttering, organising and cleaning motivation. And let's just get straight into decluttering this kitchen. So I'm going to get started by using the KonMari method and pull everything out of the cupboards and drawers that I'm going to be decluttering today so that I can touch every single item and see what sparks joy and what has purpose. Take you anywhere you want As long as we're together Everything will do You got me going all You got me going all Now I'm moving closer to you And it's getting dark in this room Tell me what you want to do Baby, let me love So I thought I'd share a bit of a close-up and show you how disgusting this drawer was. I had absolutely no idea that it was this bad. So I'm really glad that I'm doing the declutter and organisation today because otherwise this would have just been missed for even longer and it would have got even worse. So definitely keep that in mind. If you haven't done a declutter in a while, it's probably a good idea because it gives you the opportunity to go in and give it a bit more of a deep clean. I don't know how, but it feels like I'm drunk on you. It's almost like you make me fly. And when I look at you smile, I don't know how, but it feels like I'm drunk on you. It feels like I'm drunk on you. It feels like I'm drunk on you. So now I've pulled everything out of the cupboards and drawers that are being decluttered today. I'm just going to go in and give them a good clean before I start to organise everything. I absolutely love being able to clean all the cupboards out. It's such a satisfying feeling for me. And I was really looking forward to being able to make these cupboards a little bit more minimalistic because they had got a little bit too cluttered for my liking. So I'm just going to give them all a quick wipe over, clean them all off, and then we can start organising everything. You know it is all lies On and on and on it goes Round and round the rodeo Breathing out air for a minute Taking my time to begin with On and on and on it goes Swing it down in life, you know Breathing out air for a minute Yeah Hey, would you rather sit right here Make everything disappear So 
So I am also over on Instagram. So if you do want to follow me on a bit more of a daily basis, see what I am up to and behind the scenes of my YouTube videos, I will leave the link in the description below so you can go ahead and give me a follow over there as well. So I decided to put the utensils that we don't use that often in this little jar. I think it actually looks really nice when it's all together, just like a little decor piece for the kitchen, but they do get used occasionally. So I don't want to throw them away because I know that I will just be buying them again in a week or a month's time. So I am going to keep them, but I don't want it cluttering up the drawer because everything in the drawer is something that we use every single day. So I'm trying to keep everything a little bit more organized without having to throw everything in a way. So whenever I declutter this cupboard, I always do it the same way by keeping the pots and pans on the top shelf and then all of the baking stuff on the bottom shelf. Because we don't have that many cupboards, I do have to try and put as much in each one, but I do like to separate it by shelves just to keep everything separate. So make sure you watch until the end of the video because it is such a satisfying transformation. So I am going to go ahead and do the same as before. So like I said, because we've got to put so much stuff in a cupboard, I try and have a different shelf for different things. So in this cupboard, the top shelf is for everything I need for baking and the cakes and everything. All the goodies go at the top. Then the middle shelf is for anything associated with hot drinks. So my hot chocolate Ovaltine coffee is all in the middle and then anything left over goes at the bottom. So I think this drawer right here is my favourite to declutter because it just makes for the best before and after. It is such an extreme transformation and I can't wait to show you and I can't believe I let it get this bad to begin with but it just was such a weight lifted when I finally got everything decluttered.
So I'm just going to go ahead and fill one of these jars with the ice lolly moulds that we've got. And then the jar fits perfectly in the drawer. It just keeps everything together and I think it looks really pretty. I used to have all of the cereal in the jars but noticed that the cereal just wasn't getting eaten when I kept it in the jar so I'm going to keep all the cereal in their boxes in the cupboard and find different uses around the house for the jars. What you want now Feels like you're looking for something So now all the cupboards and the drawers are done, I'm just going to take a minute to wipe down the kitchen and sort out the micro because as you saw it was pretty filthy and I just want to move a few things out like those jars and a couple of ornaments. I'm not going to be throwing any of them away, just finding a different home for them for the time being because I absolutely love having a minimalistic kitchen so I'm going to just try and clear out as much as possible. So this has definitely been the most satisfying declutter transformation that I've ever done. So please do let me know down in the comments if you've enjoyed it so I can make sure to add more declutter and organisation videos to my channel to bring you even more decluttering motivation.
I hope you've enjoyed decluttering my kitchen with me today and that it's given you the motivation to do some decluttering in your house as well. If it has, do go ahead and leave this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for decluttering with me today and I will see you back here in the next one.